Namaste everyone. I heartily welcome you all for our eight day program. And I am back here for our today's session. Today's topic is leading with love, strength and authenticity. And at the end of the session, Sri Devi ma'am is going to talk about it. So my name is Varsha, joining from Heartfulness Kana Shanti Vanam, Hyderabad, India. So we'll start the session first with full of love and joy. So you can sit in any seated cross leg position. Make sure you have a good enough space around you for your practice. Even you can also sit in Vajrasana. If it is comfortable for you, you can sit in Vajrasana. Make sure you are comfortable. Now slowly and gently, you can keep your back straight, your lower back, mid back, upper back, neck, head in a line. Softly placing your knees, placing your palm on your knees. Roll your shoulders back so that your chest, chest is open nicely. And slowly and gently close your eyes. Before starting the session, be aware of yourself. Be aware of your breathing. Inhale deeply. Exhale deeply. Try to connect with your breath, body, and your heart. Heart is the seed of love. Here, you can take a sankalpa that today, we are going to perform each and every asana from our heart with love and complete awareness. With this thought, join your palms together at the heart center, Adap Namaste Mudra. Inhale for the Om. vibration of Omkara and opening prayer within you, around you. When you inhale, feel the love. Exhale, share the love with each and everyone. With this thought, open your eyes. Welcome everyone. So we'll start with the breathing. You can place your left palm on your abdomen and right palm on your chest. Now take a deep inhalation in, bulge your abdomen out and expand your chest upward. Then exhale, pull your abdomen in, relax your chest. Inhale deeply, 
bulge your abdomen out expand your chest upward exhale pull your abdomen in relax your chest now you can even close your eyes for better experience inhale deeply bulge your abdomen out like a balloon expand your chest upward exhale pull your abdomen in relax your chest inhale bulge your abdomen out expand your chest upward exhale pull your abdomen in relax your chest and slowly place your palm on your knees and open your eyes now inhale from the front stretch your arms to the side open your chest look up exhale slowly hug yourself look down round your back inhale slowly open your arms to the side look up arch your back exhale slowly hug yourself and round your back look down chin to the chest inhale slowly open your arms to the side look up exhale slowly hug yourself and look down and slowly come to the center wonderful now you can slowly and gently stand on your mat you can take the support of the hands and come up now legs apart hands apart keep your feet hip width apart inhale as you exhale join your palms together at the heart center Inhale stretch your arms up above your head and nicely stretch your whole body. Now come up on your toes, raise your heels up. Exhale slowly release your heels down without touching the floor. Inhale push it up. 1 2 3 4 5 4 three, 3 2 one slowly heels down keep your arms as it is now feet together inhale here as you exhale bend laterally towards the right side look at your ceiling open your chest feel the stress towards the one side contraction towards the one inhale come up stretch your arm exhale towards the left side stay there and breathe inhale come up stretch your arm up and exhale release your arm from the side slowly and gently wonderful now come in front of your yoga mat for sun salutation feet together arms to the side roll your shoulders back inhale exhale join your palms together at the heart center inhale stretch your arms up arch back exhale bend forward from your lower back forehead down you can softly bend your knee inhale right leg back knee on the floor look up retain left leg back your upper body should be parallel to the floor exhale drop your knee chest chin or forehead down inhale glide forward bhujangasana exhale tuck your toes lift your hips parvatasan inhale right leg front look up exhale left leg front inhale stretch your arms up arch back exhale release your arm inhale exhale join your palms together inhale stretch your arms up arch back exhale bend forward inhale left leg back retain right leg back exhale drop your knee chest chin down inhale bhujangasana 
Exhale, Parvatasana. Inhale, left leg front. Exhale, right leg front. Inhale, stretch your arms up, arch back. Exhale, release your arm. Now legs apart, hands apart, close your eyes. Observe the effect of sun salutation. There are 12 steps which improve the blood circulation in your entire body. It's give the stamina, strength and energy. Slowly open your eyes. Now inhale, stretch your arms in front and slowly sit down. Sit in Sitla Dandas. Legs in front, hands behind your body. Close your eyes and relax. Relax your breath. And slowly open your eyes. Now prepare yourself for butterfly pose. Bring your sole of your feet together. Interlock your fingers, place them under your feet. Keep your back straight and slowly, slowly close your eyes and start flap your wings. Nicely flap, faster, little more faster, higher, higher, higher. Feel that you are flying higher in the sky. And slowly, slowly slow down. And relax. Now open your eyes, inhale, head up, look up, exhale, bend forward, bend your elbows, slowly try to go down and try to touch your chest towards the feet. Once you feel this is my highest limit, then head down. Stay there and keep breathing. With every exhalation, try to go deeper in the posture. And feel the good stretch from your pelvic. Inhale, come up slowly and gently. Exhale, release your posture. Now stretch your leg in front and then take wide apart. Keep your legs wide apart nicely and back straight, placing the palm on your knees. Inhale, from the side, raise your arms up. Nicely stretch. Exhale, twist towards the right side and bend forward. You can hold your, you can place your palm on your knee or calf muscle or hold your foot. Then exhale, head down. Stay there and breathe. With every exhalation, try to go deeper in the posture. Inhale. Stretch your arms up, come up. Exhale, twist towards the left side and bend forward. Go down, forehead down. I hope you are enjoying the stretch. Stay there and breathe without any tension. Whatever your body allows will be good. Just do all the asana with joyfully. Inhale, stretch your arms up, come up. Nicely stretch here. Now exhale, bend forward in the center. Slide your hands. And once you feel stable and steady, you can try to go a little more and try to touch your forehead on the floor. Stay there and breathe. Feel the surrenderness and love within you. Stay there. Inhale, slowly come up. Stretch your arm up. Exhale, release your arm from the front. Take your both feet together. Shake your legs, shake nicely, feet in and, in and out. And relax in Siddhla Tadasana. Close your eyes and relax. Now open your eyes. We are going to do Gomukhasan. 
So you can keep your feet apart in front, bend your right leg and place your right foot across the left knee. Bend your left knee, placing your left heel closer to the hips, but make sure you are not sitting on your hips. Keeping your both heels beside your hips and keep your knees on top of the each other. Adjust yourself. You can make sure you are sitting on a hip bones. Now keep your back straight. Inhale, raise your right arm up, nicely stretch. Left arm to the left side, thumb facing down. Exhale, bend your elbows and try to clasp your both hands, finger. Stay there and breathe. You can hold the posture. I'm going to show you from behind and be there. Keep breathing. Feel the heart opening asan. Stay there for a few more breaths. Now inhale, stretch your arms up, nicely stretch. Exhale, release your arm from the front. Change the leg. Left leg up, right leg down. And then adjust yourself so that you can keep your both knees on top of the each other. Now inhale, raise your left arm up, nicely stretch. Right arm to the right side, thumb facing down. Exhale, bend your elbows and try to clasp your both hands, finger. Make sure you are not looking down and hunching your back. Keep your elbows straight towards the ceiling. Look up, look front and nicely stretch your back. Keep breathing with a smile, stay there. Inhale slowly, release your arm, stretch your arms up, nicely stretch. Exhale, release your arm from the front, wonderful. Now release your both legs and sit in Vajrasan. Vajrasana is the asana you can do after having food, after having meal. And this is very good for the digestion. Keeping your back straight. Now from your knee, take a one forearm distance and then one more palm and come up on your fourth leg. Knees apart. Make sure your palms are under your shoulder, knees are under your hips. Now inhale, look up, arch your back. Exhale, chin to the chest, round your upper back. Inhale, start the movement from your spine. Look up, arch your back. Spine curving down. Exhale, chin to the chest, round your upper back. Spine curving up. Inhale, spine curving down, look up, arch your back. Exhale, chin to the chest, round your upper back, spine curving up. Now come to the neutral position, back straight, knees together, feet together. Now inhale, lift your right leg back, knee should be straight, toes stretch out, look in front. Very good, be there and feel the stability. When you feel, once you feel stable and steady, you can raise your left arm up from the front. Balance your body, get that strength within you. Look front for better balance. It's okay if you are losing balance, try to do it again, don't give up. Few more breath with a smile, stay there. Exhale, down, round your back. Inhale, slowly look up, lift your left leg back. Knee should be straight, toes stretch out. Keep breathing, make sure your hips are parallel to each other, parallel to the floor. Keep 
keep breathing. Once you feel stable and steady, raise your right arm up very slowly and gently. Stay there and breathe. Get the strength and balance. Keep breathing. Lifting your chest up. Few more breath with a smile. Exhale, come back, round your upper back. Wonderful. Now tuck your toes, lift your hips, come to Parvatasan, inverted V shape. Keeping your feet together, your forehead in between of your arms. Stay there for five breaths. Keep breathing. Parvatasan will give the strength to your legs and arms. As stomach is contracted here, very good for the digestion. Exhale slowly, push your, drop your knees down, push your hip back and relax in Sasankasana. Close your eyes, forehead down. Relax your breath. Observe the effect. Observe your breathe and relax. Now open your eyes, slowly come back. Come to Vajrasana. Keeping your back straight. Now we are going to do Ustrasana. Come up on your knees. Keep your knees hip pull apart, placing your palms on your waist. So listen carefully, you can do half Ustrasana. So keeping your palms on your waist and push your hip front. Once you feel stable and steady, head down. And others who are comfortable, we are going to do full Ustrasana. Keep your palms on your waist, you can choose your own variation. Inhale, push your hip front. Slowly raise your right arm up, place it on your right heel. Left arm up, place it on your left heel. And slowly head down and pushing your hip front. Stay there and breathe. Keep breathing. Now place your one palm on your waist, another palm on your waist and come up. Stretch your arms in front, relax in Sasankasana. Now keep your arms beside your body, child pose. Stay there and breathe, relax yourself. Inhale with control, slowly and gently come up. And then Head up. Wonderful. Now stretch your legs in front and prepare yourself for Vakrasan. It's a deep twist and it's very benefited for the diabetic people, people who has a digestive issue, very good for them. So you can bend your right knee and place it beside the left knee. Right palm behind your back, one palm distance, keep your elbow straight. Now with the left arm, hold and hug your right knee. Inhale, stretch your back upward. Exhale, twist towards the right side. Look over your right shoulder, look behind. With every exhalation, you can try to twist little more towards the right side as much as you can, keeping your back straight, open your chest, close your eyes for better experience. Inhale slowly, stretch your arms up, nicely stretch. Exhale, release your arms from the front. Stretch your right leg, bend your left knee. Place your left foot closer to the right knee. Now place the left palm, one palm distance behind. Hold your 
left knee with the right hand. Inhale, slowly stretch your back upward. Exhale, twist back. With every exhalation, twist little more and close your eyes. Stay there and breathe. Feel the massaging in your abdomen muscles. Having a smile. Stay here for a few more breaths. Enjoy that twist. Twisting will help you for releasing all the toxins. Inhale slowly, stretch your arms up. Exhale, release the arm, release the posture. Wonderful. Now, <coughs> stretch, keeping the legs straight, bend your elbows and lie down on your back in Savasana. Adjust yourself, legs apart, hands apart, close your eyes. Relax yourself. Now open your eyes, feet together, palms side by your body, side by your hips. If you have a lower back pain or any stiffness in your back, you can place your palm under your hips. Others, keep your palms side by. Now inhale, lift your right leg straight up. Keep your leg 90 degree, do as much as you can, toes facing towards you. Exhale down. Inhale, lift your left leg straight up. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg straight up. Exhale down. Inhale, left leg straight up. Exhale down. Now you can bend your left knee. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Now you can feel you are able to go a little more. Keep your right leg 90 degree. It's more easier for you now. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale down. Inhale, right leg up. Now stay there and breathe. Toes facing towards you. Stay there and hold the posture. Keep breathing. Knee straight. If your leg is shaking, it's okay. Just be there for a while. Improve your willpower and stay there. And now exhale slowly and gently. Take your leg down with control. Wonderful. Now very slowly and gently keep your left leg also straight and stay there and observe the changes. Close your eyes. You can feel that your right leg is longer than left. If you feel these changes, please write in the comment box yes. Stay there. We will be happy to see your comments. Now slowly. Bend your right leg, right knee. Inhale, lift your left leg up, straight up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Now stay there and breathe, toes facing towards you. Keep breathing, engage your core muscles, keeping your knees straight. Few more breaths. Exhale down with control, slowly and gently. Stretch your right leg. Now you can feel that your both legs are equally balanced. Preparing yourself for both leg up. Inhale, lift your both leg up with full energy and strength. Exhale down with control. Inhale up. 
exhale down synchronize your breathing with the movement no rush inhale up exhale down one last time inhale up now stay there and breathe toes facing towards you don't give up stay there and breathe Exhale with control, 10 counts, you can release your leg down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wonderful. Now you can shake your legs, keeping your eyes closed and relax. Keep breathing. Now open your eyes. Bend your both knees. And close your, place your heels closer to the hip. For Setu Bandhasan, placing your palm side by your body, palm facing down. Now inhale, lift your hips up, pressing your palm, pressing your feet on the floor. Exhale down. Inhale, press your palm, press your feet on the floor, lift your hips up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale, press your palm and feet down and slowly lift your hips up. Now stay there and breathe. With next inhalation, lift your hip little more up. Stay there. Exhale down. Very good. Stay there and breathe here. Keeping your knee bent. Observe the effect of Setu Bandhasan. Now keep your knees on your chest without using your hands. Just be there. And feel with every exhalation how your knees and thighs are coming closer to the chest. Now you can hug your knees. We are going to do Pavan Muktasan. Keep your head down for now and bringing your thigh more closer to the chest. Now inhale. As you exhale, raise your head up. Try to touch your forehead to the knee. Inhale, release your head down. Open your arms to the side, palm facing down. Inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees towards the right, look towards the left. Inhale to the center. Exhale, drop your knees towards the left, look towards the right. Inhale to the center. And slowly stretch your leg and lie down in Savasana for the final relaxation. Lose your body completely to the Mother Earth. Adjust your body. Now once you are ready, wiggle your toes and feel them relax. Relax your heels, ankles, and feel a healing energy coming from the Mother Earth, moving up to your body, relaxing your calf muscles, energize your knees, deeply relax your thighs, hips. Feel them fully relaxed. Relax your waist, chest. Let the energy moving up to your body, your lower back, mid back, upper back, top to the bottom is completely relaxed. 
feel that your shoulders are simply melting away. Relax your shoulders, upper arms, wrist, forearms, fingers. Feel your entire hands are completely relaxed. Relax your neck muscles. Bring your awareness towards your face. Relax your chin, lips, nose, eyes. Relax your ears, forehead, your back of your head, crown of your head. Feel your entire facial muscles are fully relaxed. Amazing. That your whole body is completely relaxed with the grace of Mother Earth. Your body is relaxed, relaxed, and relaxed. Bring your awareness back to your body. Wiggle your toes, move your fingers, feet together. Stretch your arms all above your head. Interlock your fingers, stretch your whole body. Stretch your toes, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, release. Bend your left knee, turn towards the right side. Be there for a while. Feel the make a pillow with one hand. Stay there and feel the linear awareness. Once you are ready, with the support of both hands, slowly sit in seated comfortable cross leg position without opening your eyes. Try to observe the changes in your body, in your breath, in your mind. After doing asan and savasan practice, prepare yourself for Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. You can place your left palm in chin mudra, thumb and index finger together on your left knee. Right palm in Nasika mudra, your first and First two finger bend on your palm. Place your right thumb on your right nostril. Relax your hand. Inhale with the left. Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Close your left nostril. Exhale through the right. Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Inhale right. Om 1, Om 2. Om 3, Om 4. Exhale left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Inhale left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Exhale right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Inhale right, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Exhale left, Om 1, Om 2, Om 3, Om 4. Last round. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left.
slowly place your right palm in chin mudra on your right knee, keeping your eyes closed. Observe the effect of Nadi Shuddhi Pranayama. Feel the balance in both nostrils. Now join your palms together at the heart center. We'll close the session with one Om chanting and closing prayer. Inhale. Oh. Asatu ma sadgamaya tamesu ma jyotirgamaya Mrityur maam amritam gamaya Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha Sarve santu niramaya Sarve bhadrani pasyantu Makashit Dukha bhad bhave Om shanti 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 Slowly rub your palm Place them on your eyes Give a nice massage to your facial muscles, neck muscles Placing your palm in front of your face with few blinks, with beautiful smile, slowly open your eyes. Look into your palm first. Join your palms together. Namaste everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you enjoyed the session. Now our guest speaker, I would like to invite her. Sri Devi ma'am, over to you. Thank you so much for attending the session. Please listen to her now. Heartful pronouns to all. As the saying goes, a journey to thousand miles starts with a single step. So congratulations to all of you for taking that step forward and integrating yoga into your daily life. I am Sri Devi. I am a practitioner of heartfulness meditation and I have been practicing heartfulness meditation over a decade. I would like to express my gratitude and I am immensely grateful to my guide Sri Kamlesh D. Patel lovingly called Daji, my family members, friends and colleagues who have helped me to become what I am here today. Professionally, I work with the Human Resource Department and over the course of uh, my professional career and my personal life, I have come across multiple critical situations and crises where I was put on crossroads and I had to take decisive action. Initially, it was very hard for me. I was not able to settle on one action or decision. My mind was, uh, you know, a lot of wavering. I felt a lot of wavering in my mind. And I felt my mind was uh, conditioned and, you know, overwhelmed with the uh, opinions and the influence of others. This created a disconnect between what I thought and what I felt. So though it was very challenging, I somehow managed uh, uh, the situation. But I was not feeling settled, you know. There was always a question, did I do it right? Later, after my marriage in 2006, I was introduced to heartfulness meditation. And slowly over the years, as I practiced uh, heartfulness meditation regularly, I started observing very subtle changes in myself. From the wavering mind, I felt my mind was more calm, stable and very settled. So with this settledness, I was able to handle uh, multiple situations, not only at my family, but also at my workplace. So I would, I would feel the alignment of my heart and my mind. It was like the flow was very clear, you know. Uh, and uh, I was able to clearly hear to the voice of my heart, like I was following the guidance of my heart. So wherever there was a situation of this kind of crossroads, I used to pause 
know, uh, just ponder over and center myself and uh, the guidance of heart would emerge and I was to follow it. So through experiences like as and when I started experiencing, I was able to gain confidence and also gain knowledge on how to handle the situations. So what I'm trying to convey here is our outer behavior is reflection of our inner condition. So if our inner condition is more settled, the same reflects in our outer behavior. We are able to handle the situation with more bias and more uh, balanced way. So what is that we can do to actually refine our inner condition or maintain it? So I feel we need to invest more time and efforts in adapting the practices that can refine our inner condition. So what are these practices? that can help us in to maintain and refine our inner conditions. The first one is self-observation, Swadhyaya. Swadhyaya is part of Niyama, that is the second principle of uh, Patanjali's Ashtanga Yoga. As per Niyama, Niyama is something where we cultivate all good habits to refine our behavior. So through Swadhyaya, we go through a process of self-analysis where we understand our weaknesses, our strengths and our failures. So as part of this process, there is a self-reflection process and when we understand our weaknesses and we understand that by overcoming these weaknesses, we are able to transform ourselves, we become more open. So we are open towards continuous improvement. So this process helps us to become better and better day by day. The second one is being your authentic self. What does it mean to be authentic? Being authentic means being original, being genuine, being truthful. It needs a lot of courage to be authentic and truthful because we carry a lot of our personal mask like you know uh, we we have different personalities and whenever we are trying to interact with the, in our day to day life these interactions these personalities come into picture in order to be authentic we have to see things from a third eye perspective when i say third eye perspective we actually view things in a very detached and holistic viewpoint there is no personal bias nor emotional attachment so how can we try to become more authentic? There are practices where we try, you know, uh, we adapt that and we try to actually become more closer to our authentic self. Through heartfulness uh, cleaning practice, we are able to achieve this in a better way. The third one is swasya, being centered and settled within. When we follow the best practices, we are able to stay more tuned to ourselves and we become more settled within. When we become more settled within, we are able to gain that stability. Wherever there is a stability, it actually reflects in our outside behavior. We are able to showcase that balance in whatever we do. So saying centered and focused not only improves our inner health, also improves our interaction with our peers, our family and as it becomes more uh, um, clearer we start gaining trust with whoever we are working when we adopt and follow good practices we go beyond our limited potential and tap into infinite potential our innermost center is more stabilized we start becoming more humble and we start expressing the gratitude to the higher self for what we are. And we also feel empowered in the process. What does it mean to be empowered? Being empowered means taking complete responsibility of the situation. We take complete ownership of the situation. As a mother, spouse and wife and daughter, you take complete responsibility of your family. As a team lead, you take complete responsibility of your team members. As an entrepreneur, you take complete responsibility of your entire members of the organization. You take interest in their growth and continuous improvement. In this process, you develop mutual trust and you become part of their 
holistic well-being. I invite all of you to join me in embracing yourself with joyful and peaceful hearts. Let us all adopt good practices to refine ourselves to become better and better every day. Thank you so much.